5 Teams Which Can Cause Upsets at the 2022 FIFA World Cup The World Cup is the greatest sporting event in the world of football, and it has always provided plenty of thrills throughout its existence. Every World Cup has one or more surprise contenders or dark horses that defy the odds to produce surprising results. The 2022 FIFA World Cup features the majority of teams that can surprise and upset the odds. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about 5 teams which can cause upsets at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. Serbia After the breakup of SFR Yugoslavia and its football team in 1992, Serbia was represented, along with Montenegro, in the new FR Yugoslavia national football team. Despite qualifying for Euro 92, the team was banned from the tournament due to international sanctions, with the ruling also being enforced for World Cup 94 and Euro 96 qualifiers. The national team played its first friendly match in December 1994, and with the easing of sanctions, the 19 Minities generation finally made it to the 1998 World Cup, reaching the round of 16 in quarterfinals at the World Cup. Euro 2000 The team competed in the 2006, 2010, and 2018 FIFA World Cup tournaments and failed to qualify for the group stage each time. They are attending the World Cup 2022. It is clear from Serbia's 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifying campaign that this is an issue that needs to be taken seriously. After all, they topped the qualifying group and forced Portugal to try their luck in the knockout stages. Serbia has a generation of extremely talented players. They have two proven goal scorers in Dusan Vlahovic and Aleksandar Mitrovic especially the latter who has been playing quite impressively for the national team lately. Serge Milinkovic Savic has given his all for Lazio this season, and he could play an important role at the World Cup. With the strong support of Nikola Milinkovic, Dusan Tadic, Filip Kostic, Luka Javic, and Nemanja Gudelt, Serbia looks like a formidable team. They met Brazil, Switzerland and Cameroon in Group G of the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Even if they can't beat Brazil, Serbia will believe they can beat Switzerland and Cameroon. If they can do that, they will face the top team of Group H, including Portugal, Uruguay, Ghana, and South Korea. It wouldn't be a good idea to bet on Serbia if they meet one of these teams. Wales The team qualified for the FIFA World Cup twice, in 1958 and 2022. In 1958, they reached the quarterfinals before losing to eventual champions Brazil. They then went 58 years before reaching the second major tournament when, after climbing 109 places from a historic low of 117 to 8th place in the FIFA World Rankings since August 2018, 2011 to October 2015, they qualified for the UEFA Euro 2016 where they reached the semi-finals before losing again to champions Portugal. The second consecutive European Championship followed as Wales reached the round of 16 of UEFA Euro 2020. They also advanced to the quarterfinals of UEFA Euro 1976, although the tournament was played in a two-leg home format, and away and are not considered part of the tournament. Final Tournament Wales to the World Cup after 64 years they had to beat Austria and Ukraine in knockout matches to qualify for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Despite exceeding their prize money, Gareth Bale and Aaron Ramsey continue to be the attractions. Main of the Dragons Both players are still capable of delivering strong performances and veteran midfielder Joe Allen could also play an important role. The young guard is also promising with Nico Williams, Dan James, Ethan Ampadu, Harry Wilson and Joe Roden all likely to make a difference. They are placed in Group B alongside England, Iran, and the United States at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Beating England may be difficult, but Wales will love it. A long time at the tournament. Japan Japan was not a major football power until the late 1980s with a small amateur team. Since the 1990s, when Japanese football was fully professionalized, Japan has become one of the most successful teams in Asia. 
They qualified for the last seven FIFA World Cups with knockout matches in 2002, 2010, and 2018, and won the AFC Asian Cup four times in 1992, 2000, 2004, and 2011. The team also finished second at the 2000 and won Confederations Cup and the 2019 AFC Asian Cup. Japan was the first team outside the Americas to participate in the Copa America, having been invited to the 1999, 2011, 2015 and 2019 seasons, although they only participated in the 1999 and 2019 events. Japan has passed the round of 16 of the 2018 FIFA World Cup. They still have a squad with many quality players but are placed in a difficult group. Japan will face Spain, Germany and Costa Rica in the group stage. The majority of Japan's first-team players are currently engrossed in European competitions. Arsenal's Takehiro Tomiyasu and Schalke's Maya Yoshida will be key in their defense. Celtic forward Dazen Mita, AS Monaco's Takumi Minamino, VFB Stuttgart's Wataru Endo, Freiburg's Ritsu Doan, and Eintracht Frankfurt's Dechi Kamada are all familiar faces. If they can play well together, they could cause problems for some of the strongest teams at the 2022 FIFA World Cup Senegal. One of Africa's most popular national football teams, Senegal reached the quarterfinals of the 2002 FIFA World Cup, becoming Africa's second-largest team. After Cameroon in 1990, they beat defending world champions France to second in their group and beat Sweden in extra time in the round of 16, before losing to Turkey in the quarterfinals. Senegal entered the Africa Cup of Nations for the first time in 1965, when they lost 0-1 to Ivory Coast to take fourth place. They hosted the 1992 Africa Cup of Nations, where they progressed through the round, quarterfinals and won their first AFC Oang Championship at the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations, beating Egypt in the final. Senegal is by far the best African team at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. However, Sadio Maine's injury will be a blow to the Taranga Lions, but Senegal has added Maine to the squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup and will take him to Qatar. Senegal is the defending champion of Africa and has quite a few players who are in good form ahead of the tournament. Top players like Edward Mendy, Kalidou Kalibali, Abdou Diallo, Ismail Assar, Boulay Dia, and Nicholas Jackson are all part of the team. Drawn by the Netherlands, Ecuador and Qatar in Group A, Senegal will qualify for the round of 16. They definitely have enough firepower to cause some trouble at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Canada The last time Canada participated in the World Cup was in 1986, but they have reason to be optimistic this time around as they have some top players in their squad. Bayern Munich left-back Alfonso Davies is one of the best players in midfield. Lille's henchman Jonathan David will lead the line and he's been in superb scoring form this season. In 14 appearances in all competitions for the League One side, David has scored nine goals and provided three assists. In addition, Porto midfielder Steven Eustachio and club Brug winger Tejan Buchanan have also impressed in the UEFA Champions League. For most other editions of the World Cup, Canada failed to win one of the slots reserved for the North American C-O-N-N-C-A-C-A-F teams. In 2022, Canada qualified for the World Cup for the second time in its history, ending a 36-year drought. Canada also qualified for the 2026 FIFA World Cup as the host. It's still not the final product, but coach John Herdman has done a great job with his unit and he has a 67% win rate in 46 games. Canada met Croatia, Belgium, and Morocco in Group F. They will have to start well and if they do, they could cause some upheaval at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.